welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to localize posterior cerebral artery strokes so this area guys is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery here on the medial side of the brain and on the lateral side you can see that the occipital lobe is entirely supplied by the posterior cerebral artery on each side and part of the temporal lobe as well and the hippocampus the thalamus here as well on the uh, medial coronal section and for this reason guys in addition to visual affection they're also going to be affection of memory because of the hippocampal area and affection of sensation because of fibers of the anterior thalamic radiation or the medial side of the thalamus you can see that here that relays sensory fibers up to the cerebral cortex so for this reason guys um I'm gonna be showing you the visual field right now. If I'm talking about this part of the cortex, then the uh, let's say the right visual cortex is affected, then this area in purple is gonna be, uh, there's gonna be a visual field impairment on the right visual field. If the right visual cortex is affected, then um, the left side of the visual field is going to be affected however you have to know guys that the macula which is responsible for central vision is bilaterally represented because it goes to both cortices if only one part of the visual cortex is affected the other part still covers for it so central vision will not be affected with a pca stroke and that's what we call macular sparing because the region of the macula in the cortex receives dual blood supply and so the person will maintain central vision but will not be able to look uh, to uh, see the right side the left side of their visual field if they have a right PCA stroke okay in addition to visual field affection the thalamus is injured and so fibers ascending to the cerebral cortex the sensory fibers of the spinal thalamic tracts are going to be affected so this person going to be having sensory loss contralaterally okay now let's see a question guys to reinforce that. All right guys, so as usual, I'm gonna read the last two lines first. This person is unable to read phrases shown to him, but can write them when they're dictated to him. Unable to read is called alexia, okay? But they can write them, so there is no agraphia, okay? That means that even though I can, I'm able to see the words, I cannot read them. In, I cannot, like, I can see the letters, but I cannot recognize the words. That means there is no issue with vision. Rather, there is an issue with visual association. So this must be a lesion in the visual association cortex of the occipital lobe. And this is characteristic, guys, of posterior cerebral artery strokes. Plus, this person has short-term memory deficits because short-term memory is made in the hippocampus, which is the medial region that I just showed you guys and is also supplied by the posterior cerebral artery. So which of the ones the most likely cause this patient's symptoms? I know it's a posterior cerebral artery stroke, but I don't know which side. And I'm going to be able to know which side it is based on the person's visual field deficits and sensory deficits. So I'm going to eliminate all the answer choices that do not mention the posterior cerebral artery. And then we're going to see which side it is, okay? So now we have two or actually three choices. We have two choices, yeah? Is it the right or is it the left posterior cerebral artery? So this patient is a 62 year old coming in with headache, blurred vision and numbness of the right leg for the past two hours. So the right leg is affected plus blurred vision. If the, if the right, the sensory 
impairment is on the right side, then there must be a left-sided PCA stroke. And the sensory affection here, guys, is because of the thalamus. And then he's mentioning all the risk factors for atherosclerosis and cerebrovascular disease. He's hypertensive, diabetic, and there is nothing wrong with muscle strength, only sensation issues. Sensation to fine touch and position is decreased over the right lower extremity, plus visual field impairment, loss of the nasal field in the left eye and the temporal field in the right eye with macular sparing. Macular sparing, guys, is characteristic of PCA stroke. Now, what does it mean, loss of the nasal field in the left eye and temporal field in the right eye? Let's, I'm going to show you guys what that means. Okay, so this side near the nose is the nasal field. The nasal field of his right eye is affected, just this green area, okay? And then the temporal field of the left eye, his, did he say that? Temporal field in the right and nasal field in the left. Okay, so nasal field in the left is this area near the nose in purple. Okay, and the temporal field in the right eye near the temples here in purple as well. So this purple area is affected in this patient, which is considered the right side of the visual field. So he has right homonymous hemianopia with macular sparing. And macular sparing means that the lesion in the cortex, okay? If it's the right visual field deficit, then it must be a left-sided PCA stroke, okay? So it's an infarct of the left PCA. Okay, guys, I hope this helped. Let me know what you think.